Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to georeference a picture of a projected map. This is a geologic map of China that hangs on the wall in my office and I just took a photograph of it with my iPhone. And I happen to know that this is projected in a standard Lambert conformal conic projection for North Asia. I know that because the lines of latitude have the correct curvature for an unfurled cone, so I know it's a conic projection, and I know it's a Lambert conformal conic because the shape of China matches that for the shape of China on that particular projection. We're not going to georeference this entire map, we're just going to georeference this portion here, and here's what that portion looks like. Um, I'm going to switch to ArcGIS now and load that portion and this will look different again than what you would see in uh, in your ArcGIS because I'm working off of my home computer. So that image is this one. Oops, I double clicked on it and now I'm seeing that it's a three band RGB composite. That's not what I wanted to do though. I want to add all three bands and I get a warning that this cannot be uh, projected in ArcMap because there's no coordinate system associated with it and that's really the point of georeferencing is to put it in a particular coordinate system. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that and there is my map and I happen to know that this line of latitude right here <coughs> excuse me, is 45 degrees north. There is another one right here that is 40 degrees north this one's 35. I also happen to know that this line of longitude is 120 east, this is 115 east, and this here is 110 east. And I can use the intersections of those lines of latitude and longitude to georeference the map because, for example, I know the coordinates of this crossing to be um, 110 east, 45 north. Okay, so to georeference this, I am going to open up my georeferencing toolbar. There it is right there. And I'm going to make sure that I have the image I want to georeference selected. And since it's the only image on the map, that's what I'm going to use. The next thing I need to do is I need to tell ArcGIS what coordinate system I intend to georeference this to. And right now, if I go to the data frame properties, I'll see that there's no coordinate system associated with this data frame and that's because I've only loaded one data set into it and it has no coordinate system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the coordinate system to the projected coordinates that I know this map to be in. And as I said, it's an Asia North Lambert conformal conic. So now that I've set the data frame to the proper coordinate system, any georeferencing I do will be referenced to that coordinate system. Okay, well next all I've got to do is go to my latitude longitude crossings and make sure that, uh, that I enter them in correctly. And let me shrink this magnification window so that I can see my toolbar. So there's my 110 East, 45 North crossing. And if I click on the control points button and I add a control point right at that crossing, I can right click and I can input either the X and Y of that coordinate or I can input the latitude and longitude of that coordinate. And what I want to do here is input the latitude and longitude because the X and Y in a projected coordinate system are going to be in meters and I don't know the X and Y of this point. I only know the latitude and longitude. So I'll click on that. And like I said, my longitude is going to be 110 east, zero minutes, zero seconds east and my latitude is 45 degrees, zero minutes, zero seconds north. 
And if I click OK on this, the map is going to move. And it moved right out of my field of view because I was not looking at 110 East 45 North. I was looking at a few meters north of the equator, which is where this image was placed. So what I've got to do then is zoom to my layer again to find it. And there it is. And then I'll continue to enter in the rest of the points. So this one here is probably not the one I want to do next. I probably want to do a diagonal. So I'll hit this one here. And I know that this point, again, is 120 east and 35 north. And if I click OK on that, my map is going to change size again. It uh, got a lot bigger here because instead of being only a uh, thousand meters high, it's now spanning several tens of degrees of latitude and longitude. If I zoom back to my layer, I can find it again. And then I can go up to my next pair of latitude longitude crossings. If I can find them in this very hard to read image, there they are. And I know that this one is 120 east, 45 north. There the image only changed a little bit because it's been sized and located pretty well just by the two control points I've already put in. And if I put in this last point, it'll show me how much error there is in my georeferencing, but it ought to not be all that much error. So the longitude here is 110 east, and the latitude here is 35 north. Okay, and it altered it just a little bit. Now if I update my georeferencing, what it will do is it will write a PRJ file for this image that will allow me anytime I move it, um, as long as I move that PRJ file with the image, it'll, uh, it'll georeference properties properly. So it's just writing a file that, uh, that, that tells the GIS where to put this on the globe. So I'll update the georeferencing, my control points go away, and now I have my image properly referenced. And to prove that to you, I will load up a, uh, a map of China, or actually a map of just the world um, from our class folder. And I have in here a simplified world map with countries on it. And if we put this down below, there's the edge of China, and there's my map. It goes right where it's supposed to. Okay, thanks for listening. Hope that helped.